A live look at the state capitol tonight as lawmakers reconvene after spending nearly two weeks in recess. Now the budget is a top priority considering the shortfalls expected due to the COVID-19 pandemic. CBS Austin's Christian Flores spoke earlier with lawmakers and school leaders on why there's optimism school funding won't take a hit. Everything we'd heard before uh, the announcement by the House and Senate uh, really was doomsday. Austin ISD Employees Union President Ken Zarefis was fearing a worst case scenario ahead of the release of the proposed state budget because of the COVID-19 pandemic's effect on state revenue. But House and Senate budget bills filed last week bumped up school funding. We always contend there's always money when they want there to be want there to be money. And so we see this as a, a, a surprise, but a very pleasant surprise. Both bills fully fund the school finance system at $53 billion, an increase of nearly $4 billion, as well as provide $3.1 billion to fund enrollment growth. State Senator John Whitmire, who is on the Senate Committee on Finance, says this just makes sense. I would increase it uh, because I think that's the investment you, you take, you pay now or pay later. Uh, I could take you to the prison systems and show you the average education for an inmate is about six and a half years. When discussions over the budget begin, how will you ensure the school funding piece is not cut into, especially considering the shortfall related to COVID-19 and other factors the state is currently experiencing? I personally think that's why the rainy day fund is there to help us through difficult times. I think the worst thing we can do is try to balance the budget on the backs of people that are already suffering. We really need to see see some foundational changes uh, to school funding in Texas. If if schools if the if, if the Texas legislature wants to see quality schools in Texas, Christian Flores, CBS Austin News.